Hey guys, Clark here from Random Doodle Time with my dad, Levi Jones. We're hoping you have a great day, and today we're going to play Shovel Knight. We're going to see what happens. So, uh, what are we doing here? I believe we're just, uh, kind of getting us the controls, right? Yeah, we were trying to figure out controls and stuff, and then we were sort of going through the village. I think here you were trying to get a meal, but this guy wasn't selling a meal ticket. Right? Yeah, we already had the max we could at the time. We couldn't afford that, because we had started doing the first level, but we... <laughs> Ended up losing more than we got. We oh yeah, we played this mini game down here. Like to min max it, we should have just played this mini game and gone the max like magic. That often really boring. Yeah, and uh, I mean, watching this video, you're gonna understand really quickly, but uh, you'll see here pretty easily that I am uh, really bad at this game. I'm not particularly good either, but like wow, this looks so cool sped up. Yeah, so we're doing a double speed uh, and. Uh, the po potions fall down, and you're just trying to hit them back up so that they can gather points. What, what's the point of this game? <laughs> yeah, you get the points, and then if you get enough points, you'll get, like, a bunch of... You'll get more than you paid for, basically. Okay, so you pay to play, and then if you do well, then you win more than you paid. Yeah, like, a pretty significant more. That's why you could just min-max it. So it's kind of like a slot machine or something like that. <laughs> no, it's, like, basically 100... It's, it's dependent on skill, really. Yeah, okay. Because you can affect where the potions fly, we just don't really do that. Yeah, it's like if you're good at jumping and hitting at the same time. Every now and then I feel like I can do it, but most of the time I can't. 90 points, but we still made a profit. You know, the more points you get, the the more gold you get. Yeah. You came over here, there was nothing here. Yeah. Honestly, he looks crazy sped up. Yeah, these guys, they're kind of on a loop, and so it's kind of funny when you speed it up how they... Act. <laughs> we already got everything, so yeah, this part we achieved like nothing except get like 50 gold. I already got that thing too. So eventually we left. Uh, it took us a while to head out. I missed the hedge bar. I was doing that for whatever reason. And we just, I accidentally talked. It's a kind of annoying accidentally talking using yeah. the curious, but I'm not curious. So then we went to, we already did the lich yard. Uh, so we are going to go to King Knight. So we come in. Right, like, okay, remember everything? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this, but yeah. And then you die like almost instantly. I die almost immediately. I have a problem with pits that I seem to fall in them frequently. It's like you steal all the health, and it's like, you know, no matter how much health you have, you're going to lose it all when you fall down the pit. <laughs> it's true. It doesn't matter how much health you have. When you fall down the pit, it doesn't do you any good. Yeah, I he didn't use the, he was you weren't very good at using the phase lock it. <laughs> yeah, so the phase lock makes you invis invincible. Yeah, invincible for a bit. Uh, I'm just amazed he didn't die here. He's at oh yeah oh right he did. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same line as when I was actually playing. And so we start from the beginning again. Yeah, we ended up losing a and I I was fishing right. Right. And I actually you can get some like healing on like pretty much every pit if you're patient enough. And eventually I'll learn some pretty useful stuff with fishing. With the fishing rod, I actually kind of like it now. Like, you can hook up for players, and you can hook, like, the the loot you lose. Yeah, surprisingly useful. So yeah, yeah, especially with, like, you know, hooking fish. And then those going parts. But if you already have the max, like, like it's not very useful. Yeah, 350 gold is no small. Yeah, and then so I accidentally hook him into... Yeah, he threw me into the pit by hooking me. That was... Kind of weird. Yeah, I like picking up the loot with her. And that was fun. <laughs> Man, sped up. This took forever. <laughs> yeah. We were dying like crazy through here, but eventually made our way. I don't know, those rats with the little propellers are a pain. They seem hard to hit. You see, we have plenty of health. Yeah, and so these guys shooting the little fireballs. Do we have the ability to do that yet? No, we will get it, though. So I'm like, don't break a checkpoint. And of course he takes the food. Of course he takes the food. And Sorry. let's see. Let's start. Let's one Mississippi. Well, I'm gonna kind of count in the back of my mind. Let's say you you got it around 427. Okay. We're gonna see how long it takes you to fall down the pit. Yeah, no pits yet, so I'm safe. Yeah. All right. They struggled to do this. And I uh, got that, and I died actually. Yeah. So you died first. Yeah, those chandeliers fall really quick. You think you can dodge underneath them, but it's or maybe like jump pretty on them. tricky. I jumped on you. Yeah, you've already lost most of the health. 
Oh, this part. Mm. It's it was worth it because we got this thing. But yeah. Yeah, this ended up being pretty tricky. You have to go down so you're big, small enough to fit. So you know, he only has like half a heart more than me. So I get the thing. I buy it. I I'm glad I can afford it because it's so annoying. Nice you can't. And it's like, wow, this is a terrible weapon. Like, there was, like, no use. It was pretty useless, actually. Yeah. Um, and, of course, Dad dies. Oh, uh, that was almost exactly a minute. <laughs> and uh, this part, and I accidentally go through the door, which is a bit of a pain always. But it's an opportunity to get to loot, so. And then I die. Yeah. I'm like, sit tight, okay? But it looks like I'm not going to be able to respawn. Right. So, so we just have to cut our losses. So I'm kind of on my own. Go back. Try to make my way back. And it's kind of hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> and die. That was not good. So back to the We last just skipped the, like, that part. We just like, nope. <laughs> we lost a bit of loot, but it was worth it, I'd say. We probably yeah. would have died more times. And I, I died pretty quickly. But I came back. Mostly because I'm actually doing all the fighting. Yeah, so we just sort of bypassed that whole area because we sort of got what we wanted out of it. It's like, now oh, we have the ability look. to shoot the fireballs. The fire rod still, like, look at it. it. It's useless. It just doesn't work. It's not good enough. But sometimes I, I, I felt like I could get a rapid fire out of it. Yeah, if you, like, press it fast enough, you can... But it's like you have to do up plus Y, which is a bit of a pain. You can just set it to X, but it doesn't always work for well with, like, all of the controllers. Barely make it, we scoop some more up. It's still annoying, it's just more better to just attack him. We get that, get that. Yeah, sometimes the shovel just works better. Yeah, it, it's it's meant to be versatile. Hmm? We get, we kind of drop back in on here, which is kind of cool. Be that guy, get that stuff. There's some stuff in it, of course. So is this the third checkpoint? Oh uh, yeah, I believe it is. This okay. one is so annoying, because it's like you get in close and that has like a claw attack. Yeah, and I'm just sitting in the back like, you got this, I'm going to just go ahead and let you take care of this. And I, I totally died, of course. I've got half a heart, you'll notice. I actually lost quite a bit of loot there, I'm going to now notice it. But I'm like, okay, let me give it a try. I thought if I stood there I was safe, but I didn't realize this claw could reach out and get you right there. So Yeah, the fire was it. sort of useful here, but you know, it still wasn't nearly as good as just you know being super aggressive with a different one. We're yeah. just skipping it. It's like, you can go behind it. I don't think it can even attack you behind it. You can just use the face lock and go behind it. That's true. <laughs> Maybe we should have tried that. And of course, I finally get the the, the turkey for once. Because I'm actually going to need it. I'm actually going to make good use of it. Yeah, I like the fish thing. So I was trying to figure out how to jump and shoot the fireball, but I have a really hard time making it It's because you have to do uh, B and Y up at the same time. Yeah. So we find this area, which I've never actually found before. I've played this quite a bit, actually. This this level, because it's like the first one you can access. Yeah, and uh, I'm just basically waiting for you to kind of clear out everything. Yeah, and it's like empty, you didn't take the loot. So it's just in the banners where we can seal things. So yeah, we got a chest. That was good. Of course, you see them taking. I get that. I was yeah, that was another good one. Like, it wasn't, there wasn't even, like, an indicator like there usually is. Yeah, that one was well hidden. Right. Well, this is a bit obvious. Like, I don't know, somehow. Back to the propeller rats. Really annoying. Because you can't just... They move, like, slow, clunkily. You think they'll be, oh, yeah. So that's one of these so you can, like, drop a row of blocks with them. That was cool Sorry. with the chandelier killing the guys with the lances. It's always cool when, like, you attack an enemy and then I bounce off the enemy that you attacked. Yeah. So when you're attacking this guy, I get that. Just kind of avoid him. The face lock gets not really useful, actually. <laughs> Fails. Yeah. If you're able to activate it at the right time, but sometimes it's awkward to try and activate. Yeah, see, we're kind of testing how, like, how long it, how we could do a rapid fire. Like, nope! <laughs> yeah, I didn't really want to go for that. And we started learning how these spell books work. You gotta bounce off the book, then bounce off the pages that are floating, and they're only there for a limited amount of time, which I learned the hard way. You waited too long here? Oh, dead. dead of course. So I, I had to get out of my way. And then, of course, I only have one chalice, and it's filled already. So, yeah, kind of useless. He gets so close, and he dies again, of course. So I was to expect. I'm like, how do I get up there? I have to bounce off the book. 
or we can just bounce off. That's the thing with the multiplayer. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you can just, and then of course he dies. I'm at half a heart, you may notice, so if I die, I think I have a bit of an excuse. But you're good at staying alive with just half a heart. I don't like it, but I can do it. Yeah, I'm like, I, I can't even get that. Oh, wait, and then I remember, oh, yeah, I can just do this, but I'm out of mana. See? Let yeah. me have the mana. You Why? have max mana. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Just saying. No, I know what you're saying. <laughs> have to make it's it's hard. To, I feel like it would be cool if it was like a shared mana bar. Like, but no, like when one player got like, they could have, they had their own separate mana bar. When one player got like a mana thing, yeah, then like the other player would get the boost too. Cause it's just like, it's a bit of a pain. Seems like we should be able to share. There's plenty for everyone. So we're getting close to the boss now, right? Yeah, yeah. So our first try, we're like, yeah, we're gonna. Oh yeah, this this, this one, guy. it's even. And worse. I'm like, I'm just gonna go for this guy. Like, I'm just gonna go at him and and. I'm kind of shooting him from behind here, but I have limited mana. And that thing's just useless. That Yeah, that bouncing green Boundless ball. combat potential. That's a quote. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess it's better in, like, open areas with a lot of enemies, but... Oh, well. We got we got past the griffin. Now we're to the last checkpoint. And we're fighting Queen Knight, because apparently I changed it on accident. But... And oh. then, of course... Yeah. It got bumped. That was a bit of a pain, but you can still make up. That's pretty cool. I like the dash move. So what's interesting is there's no actual patterns. It's like they have certain attacks, but it's kind of it's like a random what attacks they'll do, which can yeah. be annoying when they do two in a row. Yeah, that makes it. I mean, you can't predict. You just have to be able to react. And I don't know. I was not so great on this first try. try. I'm we don't surprised how kill far the I first try. <laughs> I'm surprised. I had like half a heart. I lasted quite a bit. Yeah, I actually thought we might get him in the first try, but. Yeah, and again, sorry this is so blurry for the last couple of minutes here, but um, I'm hoping you can still make out what's going on. I don't know. So we're editing the controls a little bit so that our face shift is easier But it doesn't work for me because it's like I'm holding the, num the, the Wii U controller numchuck and I have to press 2 oh. or 1. So it just, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I wish you could do like C maybe. <clears throat> so I guess my strategy here was just go after the guy and just hit him as much as you could even though you're taking damage and not even bother with... Dodging. Yeah, the knockback can be a... Yeah, this attack is just... Oh my gosh. Yeah. So annoying. But we kind of just stay on him, and I, I think he's getting close to dead, right? Yeah, I guess you can see up in the upper right. And who got the last hit? I think it was you. He stole it. Yay! You had half a heart left, actually. So then uh, this thing. We got actually a surprising amount of blue. I should have used one of my chalices. So I kind of like... So blue. sleeping by the campfire, and this is a dream? Yeah, I guess it's a dream of some sort. Kind of. So this dude is falling down. He seems like a good guy, and so we're Shield trying him. to... Yeah, that's a ton of blue. I wish we had done better here. Like, wow. Shouldn't have bothered saving her when she just got in the loot. Like, seriously. Yeah. I guess it's just dramatic to do it. <laughs> so yeah, we wake up from the dream. Make sure you get the meal ticket. Got the meal ticket. And that was it. Now let's look at the final totals. I wonder if you can guess who will win. Enemies defeated. Lives lost. We both lost a lot of lives. Yeah, I lost more. You actually got more gold than me, I believe. You can't actually tell, but he got more gold. It just wasn't enough. Yeah. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just subscribe for more.